this episode, we are actually going to see how we can manage all these client and client secrets and everything without using this dashboard. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So here we have the passport series and in the last two episodes, firstly we have created, we have installed the Laravel package, then we have created the front end quick start like this. So in this way we can create a new uh, client ID and client secret but what if you don't want to use Vue.js because we are using this Vue.js everywhere like this Vue.js components to create all these things but as I told you we can already create these things but before that there is one more thing how you can create client ID and secret if you want to test all your OAuth system then and obviously you don't want to create these things you just want to test so you can create a new client using this command php addison passport colon client so let's go here on this terminal paste that and it will ask firstly which user id should the client be assigned to obviously you can see let's I will show you you can see I have this one client for this user if I log out register new one so I will say Ankur uh, Ankur and then Ankur at gmail one two three four five six one two three four five six register this user and for this user you can see there is no client ID and client secret this means a client ID or client secret is only specific for a particular user and that's exactly we want that's good so here this is asking which user ID you want to assign so we have two users so let's assign to second one second and the client name as you can see we have here we have to give the name and redirect URL that's good so name will be test uh, Ankur okay then callback let's use same callback localhost uh, slash auth slash callback that's good so we have created this thing so if I go to SQL Pro you can see on the OAuth client here we have the fifth one test Ankur and now if I refresh this one and you can see here it is and if I log in with another account like this one not this one this one and you can see we have three the client id three that means these client id in secret is specifically for a particular user this is good we can create this by using this command but what if you want to use react.js and you want to implement this same thing you don't want to use the Vue.js. for that level give you all these things so to have list of these client ID secret you can use this command axios you have to use axios then dot get and all these things so let's try this one so here uh, let's use uh, so let's go to app.blade.php and here just after this I will say at stack and name it script what this will do let me show you so I will say at push is script and end push and push and in between that create a new script and paste that actual part so what this will do this will actually push whatever we give here just below this app.js so if I go to Chrome go here and let's see let's clear this and reload and you can see this is the array and this array is having all these things which is written here so that's good that means you can use this system this actual command for getting the list but what about creating new how will you create this thing for that there is one more axios command you can use all these things let's go here and instead of this get 
I will show you this post. Now client ID, I will say client ID test2 and call back. You can see example.com. Let's use this one only. So go here, reload the page. And this time we can see we have a new client ID 6 name is test2 so reload this and you can see 6 is here but because we have reloaded there will be a new client ID called 7 and you we can verify from here yeah test2 test2 and similarly to edit the same thing we have to give the axios.put request and to delete axios.delete request so in this way you can use other framework other than Vue.js to create this kind of dashboard to create OAuth client and personal token and what is personal token I will show you in the later episodes so in the next episode we will see how we can create uh, how we can get the token to access anything which this website given for as an API okay so we will meet in the next episode so if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram till then bye